Let's get a routing table in static routes. Okay. In first video, uh, or not in first actually, in one of the videos, when I when I was configuring that scalar, if you remember, let me just pull up this diagram real quick. When I was assigning net uh, net scalar management IP, I assigned this IP to NS1, submit mask, which was 24 bit. And then a gateway which is 10.10.10.1, which is my core switch. Actually, this gateway, as you know, is not going to do any good to you because when you specify a gateway, that's going to add a default route in a routing table that goes to this IP address. It means any network that the NetScaler doesn't know about, it will forward the traffic to this IP address. And unfortunately, it's not going to do any good in my case, because in my case, most of my clients, or all my clients or users, will connect from external network. So, when users are coming from external network, and they have can have IP from any range, from all over the world, you know. How the net scaler will know that where to forward the traffic? In this case, net scaler, my net scaler should know that any network that it doesn't know about, it should forward the traffic to my router, which is this, sorry, this one, external router, which is 172.16.21.100, right? Because all the external users are coming from this path. So NetScaler should know if I NetScaler need to reach those external users or respond to those external users, where the response of their queries will go to. It should not go this way, it should go this way. But currently my default route is assigned to this switch. If I assign a default route in the switch that power that pass it to the net scaler and then I get to be like a pick and ping and pong because all my internal users in my topology, sorry, all my internal servers are using net scaler as a gateway. For example, 10, 10, 10, 200 is the gateway of this server, this server, this server, this server, and this server. So it will be like a loop. It will never ever be able to reach or respond to external request. So this needs to be addressed first. Of course, as I said, it depends on an environment, how NetScaler is deployed. You may have a one-arm deployment, multi-arm deployment in DMZ internal network, or external facing like in my case, no firewall in front, or you may have a poor man alternative where, for example, here, I have a very high-performance external router. So what I can do, at least, I can enable packet filtering, which is supported in every router, and allow only specific traffic to come to that scale. It depends, but make sure throughput is not compromised. So that's another thing. The point here right now is the routing. So let's... Let's... Let's fix this first. So I go to this server, which is my internal network, uh, my internal network, and if I say IP config 10.10.10.100 is the IP and gateway is the net scaler. So if I ping an external IP, which is an IP somewhere on the internet, or let's from a service provider somewhere, it just can't go out. Same thing for my net scaler. If I go to my net scaler and ping this IP, you will see nothing because that scaler default route is pointing to my internal switch. Right. So if I say control C, you will see 14 packet transmitted, zero received, 100% packet. So let's fix this scenario first. Okay. So I'm here on 10, 10, 10, 200, which is why I'm scalar. 
I go to systems network and sorry, I need to scroll down a little bit. Routes. And here you can see the default route goes to 10, 10, 10, 1, which is as per this right here, my internal switch. Not good. Must we change? Unfortunately, if I go to edit, there is nothing much I can do. So the best option would be just select it and delete. Gone. Now I will add the default route again. Network 000, mask. You know the concept of default route, right? Yeah, it's a simple TCP IP networking 101. It's not a null route. So the default route where I would like to pass or I would like to point to is to my ISP router, which is 172.16.21.100. So 172.16. I don't want to enable management, of course, or anything here, also any routing protocol or anything, not the management, sorry. Yeah, and it will give me a message of the gateways, not directly reach you. And the reason is, in order to reach this address, that scalar need an IP address from this range so that it can talk to this gateway directly. A direct interface or direct IP address. I won't say interface here. Yeah. I'll say a direct IP address that can talk to this gateway. So let's define an IP. Don't have any default route yet. So if I go here to IP, we would say I have these IP addresses on the 10, 10, 10, but I don't have any IP based on 172 range, correct? So, what I will do, I will define an IP address for an scalar. Let's have to do 16, 21, 200, net mask 255, 255, 255, 0, and the type is subnet IP or SNP. In this IP, I don't want to enable any management access because that space that this IP belongs to external network. So I'm not listening or I'm not opening any ports required management. So I would say create an IP has been created. Okay. Once the IP has been added. I would go to routes, all right, and I will add the default route, which is zero, 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 zero. And gateway is 172.16.21.100. Once again, this is my router. This is the default gateway. Or, or yeah, this is the default route points to. Any IP address that my NetScaler don't know about, just send it to this gateway, which is my external route. Okay, and create, and my external gateway is fixed, sorry, default route is fixed. My default route is fixed, as well as under IPs, I have defined an IP address, which will be used by that scalar to communicate with the default gateway. 
Okay. Now as we have all the routes and IP addresses, as you know, all my journal servers or computers are using Netscaler as default gateway. So what I would like to do that whenever my computer sends traffic out, I would like Netscaler to NAT those internal IPs to this external IP. So for that purpose, I will highlight my internal network and I will say configuring reverse or configure reverse NAT. And I would like to configure reverse NAT for my internal network. Right. I would like to enable IP source persistency, so it means it will use the same net IP address for all reverse net sessions, and which IP it will use to net my internal network. I will choose 172.16.21.200 because this is my external IP. This is the IP that Netscaler will use to talk to my default route, which is my external router, a door to outside world, and click OK. And this way, as you can see, I have added reverse that. So now what will happen when my internal computer will talk to outside world, all my internal IP addresses will be netted on this particular IP address. So now let's see as we have added the route, we have defined the submit IP and I did the reverse netting. Will I be able to ping the external network? So let's see, will that will ping works this time? Here we go. I'm able to reach outside world. 182.50.132.2.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.